the Benin native law a custom stipulates that whenever the supposedly added son of the family is denied paternity, the mother of that child is expected to swear an oath of confirmation at the ancestral shrine of the man or the deceased man located at the Igyogbe. That's why the Igyogbe is very important in the Benin native law and custom. After performing and completing all the traditional rites, the child is accepted into the family and the child is granted the right to inherit the Igyogbe. Even though the mother is not properly married to the father, that does not limit the rights of the child from inheriting the Igyogbe. That is the tradition. In the Benin Kingdom, there is another tradition called Ikinwu. When the mother of the child is not properly married to the father, the mother is expected to perform a traditional rite called Ikinwu. After completing the rite, the child is fully accepted into the family. The same thing applies to when a child is denied paternity. The mother of the child is mediated to swear an oath at the ancestral shrine. In Benin, we call it Eimyowa meaning the spirit of the ancestors. The mother is mediated to swear the spirit of the ancestors to confirm truly and sincerely that the child is the biological child of the Bene man. It is only a faithful mother that will swear the spirit of the ancestors. The Bene women understand the nitty-gritty and the intricacies of swearing the spirit of the ancestors. In the first place, it is only the biological child of the deceased that has a right of inheritance. It is only where the man does not have any biological child of his own that the right of inheritance can go to a brother or a close member of the family who has blood ties with the deceased. The Benin native law and custom forbids an adopted child who has no blood relationship with the disease from inheriting the Igyogbe. Therefore, to inherit the Igyogbe, the adopted child must be an offspring within that particular family unit. This is because the Igyogbe is regarded as an ancestral family house. This portrays the saying in Benin, Oriobe, Eriobe, Bedo, which means a stranger cannot become an Oba in the Benin Kingdom. It should be clarified that an adopted child can be given a farmland or any personal property of the deceased, but not the Igyogbe. In Benin, it is forbidden for an adopted child that does not belong to that particular family unit to inherit the Igyogbe. Under the Benin native law and custom, a stranger cannot usurp the inheritance of the Igyogbe. It is forbidden. The right of inheriting the Igyogbe is given absolutely to the elder surviving son of the deceased. It does not matter whether the child is responsible, an Ibesai or a usurper. This implies that a Benin man cannot give out his Igyogbe during his lifetime to any other child because the principal dwelling house becomes an Igyogbe after death. So it cannot be given out as a gift, whether through the instrumentality of a we or by way of a declaration by the deceased. It should be noted that where a Benima denies paternity is supposedly a dead surviving son, the customary law of secession has provided a means or accepting that elder son supposedly denied paternity after the death of his father. The first condition is that the mother of such alleged elder surviving son of the disease, if she is still alive, is expected to swear an oath of confirmation at the ancestral shrine of the man to the extent that the child is sincerely the biological child of the late father. Also, the mother of the child must follow it up with a traditional rite of what the Benin termed Ikenwu. 
This literally means a ritual of cooking in a mood built cooker at the kitchen of the deceased man for members of the mass family. When this customary rite of oath taking and a king will have been performed by the mother of the eldest child supposedly denied paternity, the child will be accepted by the head of the family as the deceased man's uh, biological child. Going by the provision of customary law above, it should be in order to say that a proper marriage under the Benin native law and custom between the Benin man and the mother of the eldest son is a prerequisite for the accusation of the Igyobe. Thus, when a woman's diary has been paid, she must thereafter cohabit with the man. In the course of the marriage, she observed the customary law of Ikenwu, an oath taking to the knowledge of every member of that particular family. It should also be noted in matters of this nature that a subsequent marriage under the act cannot deprive the eldest surviving son his right to inherit the Igyobe, even when the mother is not properly married to the deceased man, provided there is a credible evidence to portray the claim of paternity. If there is a doubt of evidence in favor of the child, the issue of paternity will be resolved in the interest of the supposedly rejected child, especially when he is well known by the extended family members. 